Good afternoon, folks. My name's Sandy. This is Sawing with Sandy. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see in front of me here, I have my chop shop. This is the log structure that I built most recently. Log at the back, two uh, lean-tos off either side, one to store my utility trailer, the other one I store my log loader trailer. While I was building this, I had an idea that came to mind and I sort of withheld it from all of you. And I withheld it for a little while just because I wanted to make sure it was gonna work out okay. What that idea was, was I was going to plan on using this uh, equipment shed, if you will, not only for storing equipment, but also for splitting lumber, hence the name Chop Shop. The surprise is officially out of the, uh, out of the bag. The Chop Shop is going to be for chopping some firewood. I'm gonna take my wood splitter here in just a moment and try it out. This right here is the Eastern Made Ultra. You probably have seen it around the channel before if you've been around for a little while. This is what I'm going to use to chop some wood. Albeit it'll be hydraulically chopped, but we'll chop some nonetheless. This, I thought, while I was building this structure, was gonna be a really good, really good use of the space. Now that's not to say I won't store equipment in here, maybe a snow machine, ATV, maybe a tractor implement from time to time, but it also makes a perfect setting for splitting wood. Today I've got some hardwood logs right here in front of me. I've got some hard maple, some cherry, and some birch there. We're gonna cut those up in just a minute. Then we're gonna put them up here onto the Easton Made Ultra. And one of the best features that made me think this structure would be so good for splitting wood is gonna be put into action. The table height. I am today, for the very first time, going to be able to split the wood and have it fall down into the IBC cage without me having to throw it in there. I think that's what makes the height of this building so practical for splitting wood. We'll at least try that out today and see if that holds true. As you can see down below here, this is where I would normally have my log loader trailer positioned. I just pulled it out for a little bit because I'm using it for a different project. And uh, I put an IBC cage here just to see what the height was going to be like. And turns out it's perfect. I've got the, lo I've got the uh, wood splitter at a good level position there. I've got it sitting right on the edge of the deck. And an IBC cage fits perfectly. In fact, I could put more behind it so that when this one's done, I just get it out of the way with the tractor and pull the next one in. At least uh, that's the thought. So we're going to put this into action here today. The, chain the chainsaw is razor sharp. I just sharpened it. So we should make short work of the logs up there onto the splitter, split them up and see if this whole setup works out as I intended. There you go. Now you know what the chop shop is going to be all about. At least one of the uses. Here we go. Oh, 
What do you guys think of that? I'd say that right there is a beautiful thing. Certainly a win in my books. I didn't really intend for the chop shop to become this uh, wood splitting shed, but I think it's quickly morphing into that. I know I said it was going to store equipment and well, who knows what else, but I think one of those pieces of equipment is going to be the wood splitter. I think what I can do from now on is I can basically just rotate the wood splitter, tuck it back here in the corner, and whatever other equipment I need can also go over here. And then when I want to split wood, I just sort of put it into position right here. Now I will have to move the log loader trailer if it is in that side lean-to, but I think that's, uh, that's not much of a deal for me to do, especially when I can keep the wood splitting out of the elements. Days like today, I love being outside. I don't, I don't mind it at all. But when I'm splitting wood and it's the middle of winter and everything is frozen, including all my equipment and all my firewood, well, that's not exactly pleasant. And so it's nice to have the equipment up out of the elements like this. I can also uh, keep my firewood that I split up out of the elements. And then when I need to uh, move the splitter back into storage, which will be just back here, it's just a little bit of a motion here and it won't be that big of a deal. Now, I know in the past, some of you have mentioned to me this exact setup. Not in a shed, of course, but this exact setup where the IBC cage was lower than the uh, outfeed table there on the, on the splitter. You had mentioned digging a hole in the ground, putting the IBC cage in it so it sits lower. That, uh, that was going to be my intention up until I uh, came across this idea. I think this is going to be what the, uh, the permanent setup is going to be, at least for the next while. Quite happy with it. I know some of you are probably saying, well, good job, Sandy. Job well done. And uh, you're probably thinking I'm done with this project. I am not done with this project. There are some few uh, refinements I'm going to make here to make splitting even that much better. I hope you guys come back to see that. I've got wheels turning upstairs in my brain all the time. And albeit some ideas aren't the greatest, some are. And I think this next idea that sort of goes hand in hand with this, uh, this building, this splitter, is going to be one of those great ideas. Who knows, maybe I'll even set up a little cot back here at some point, get my sludge cup out and, well, relax one of these days. Don't know when that'll be, but uh, anyways, that's it for me here today. Glad you guys joined me. Please do me that big favor. Give this video the old like -a -roo. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.